Alright guys, what is up and welcome back to Gary's Monster. You're probably saying, whoa, where the heck is your face? It's usually up in the right corner. Well, I figured today we're going to be taking a look at a mod that doesn't really require a face cam. I mean, technically not, none of the mods require a face cam. But this one in particular would really be distracting if I had it in this video. So we're going to dismiss it for now. But for now, we're going to do the question of the day, which is... If you guys had to choose between a cereal, would you choose Cocoa Pebbles or Fruity Pebbles? You could choose your choice, or actually there is that new Cinnamon Pebbles, but no one likes Cinnamon, come on, let's all be real here. But if you want to put your answer, you can put it on the top right corner where my face usually is. And you'll see a little thingy go across the screen, you can click that and you can choose which one you want. And let's see who wins. Alright guys, so we were on flat grass because I figured, you know what, we're going to be doing some explosion effects. If you guys don't know, this is going to be called G Explosions, I believe. And it's going to overhaul the explosion effects in the game. Uh, and I can't wait to show you guys what it looks like. And of course, if anyone suggested it, they'll be down below. But here we go. First things first, we're going to use the grenade. Will the grenade have any effect? First we're going to do the no explosion effect, then we're going to turn the explosion effect on, and then I'll show you side by side what they look like. Here we go. Alright, so on to the first one. Just your regular explosion effect. I, I tossed that way too far, let's do that again. Alright, here we go. Grenade. Take one. Alright. Alright guys, we're back, and now I'm going to show you- wait, why the hell do I have hints on? Okay, those always seem to turn themselves on from time to time, but now let's try the explosion effect with the new mod installed. Is there any difference? And again, I'll be doing a side by side to show you guys the real difference if there is any. Here we go. I think I heard a bit of sound difference, but there wasn't really, I mean, for me at least. Uh, when we do the side by side, I'm sure I'll see something, but didn't see that big of a difference. Next up is RPG. This one, we should definitely see something crazy. Alright guys, here we are, and now we have the RPG, and we're going to see now, is there a difference? Well, of course not, because this is going to be the, uh, just the regular. Alright, so that's just the regular explosion, no nothing too big. Now we're going to see what it looks like with the enhanced mod enabled. Alright guys, we are back at Flatty World, and of course, let's see what happens with these effects now taken in place. Here we go. Okay, definite change there. Not only were the sounds different, just like they were before, at least I think they were, but we saw a dramatic explosion difference. The effects, the way the smoke and the dust fly out when it makes an impact, that was all changed, and that looked pretty amazing. Let's actually see a replay of that real quick. Wow, look at that. That's actually really cool. And there's even some little residual fire effect as well. That is completely new. Again, I'll be doing a side-by-side -side right now to show you guys the real differences. Alright guys, now next thing, and this is going to be kind of an interesting change. They actually did change the AR secondary fire, which of course we know is the energy ball. Well, this guy did a little bit of a tweak here, and they, they did a pretty cool change, so I'll show you now what it looks like. Alright, so of course this is going to be just the regular ball, we, we've all seen this. Here we go. That's what it looks like. And I'll be doing a zooming in kind of shot when I do a side by side of that, just so you guys can get a better look at everything. Alright guys, we're back, and now let's see the changes that I'm talking about here. Looks normal so far. BAM! Look at that! That was amazing! So... Now I wonder, because that effect was so delayed from the actual explosion radius, I'm thinking now, is there a change? Does it do any difference damage-wise? Well, let's see that one more time. That was amazing. Let's actually do a zoom-in shot here. Wow, that looks freaking sick. So guys, that is amazing. That is a really cool effect. Um, I wish they did that to every single weapon, but for all that I know, they only did it to these weapons, unfortunately. So, Oh, and by the way, guys, if you want to suggest a mod down below, please do so in the comments. I will definitely take your suggestion and even m mention you in a future video. That will be a thing that will happen for sure. So now we're going to test out some dynamite if I could find what there it is okay so dynamite apparently this got a change too but of course this is just gonna be the regular vanilla so there's not gonna be really any difference here 
So you can see just your regular explosion, that nice low texture looking cloud explosion effect. We all know and love from all the Source Engine games. All right guys, we are back and now we have enabled the new G explosion mod. What will change? Let's find out. All right, that hurt like a motherfucker. So we're gonna back up a little bit more, but there was indeed some difference. Look at that. It's like a miniature nuke went off. Or it just looks way more dynamic. There's, there's way more fire in there. Not only from the aftermath of the explosion, but also the initial explosion. You could see, look at that. There's a giant blazing fire effect. It looks amazing. And then there's like little streams of everything. And you can just freaking go ham on this if you really want to. So that is really freaking cool. Um, I gotta admit, this is a big, this is a big increase. I think this is a huge improvement over the original explosion effects. But of course, if you guys disagree, let me know down below. I, re I really wanna know what you guys think about this because this is super interesting so far. Alright guys, so we have now moved on to something a little bit more interesting. This is the G-Bomb. Um, it's not G-Bombs, it's, I think it's called G-Explosives actually. And it's a little mod, we're gonna see now, do, do the effects have any change here? Let's see. First up, we're gonna have G-Bomb. Just your regular big old bomb, like Zelda style. Okay, that was, let, let's, let's do it a little bit further away next time, please. Okay, here we go. All right, there was some interesting effects there. We had some flying, fl flaming debris. Like, what the hell? All right, my friends, now we are back. We're going to see, with the new enhanced explosion effect active, is there a difference? Here we go. Wow. Not only did the sounds change, the whole explosion effect was overhauled as well. Yes guys, this effect applies to even third party explosion mods. So if you have any mods that use some kind of explosives, this mod will indeed affect them. Which is awesome. Look at that, that looks amazing. That's Battlefield 1 quality, if you ask me, I'm just saying. Alright my friends, so that will conclude this video. It is true and apparent that there is some pretty significant changes here with this mod, and I think they're for the better for sure. And it's not even that big of a mod, you just have to download the initial mod, and then like this little universal fix that this guy made for it, so... Just get those two mods and you are good. All your explosions are going to look as amazing as these ones look. Hopefully it's not detrimental to the experience of the performance, because I don't think it is because I, well, I did recently get a new card. I got a GTX 1080 Ti. I had to upgrade it for you guys because I always want to get better material and better hardware so I can tackle these games. Even though I only play Gary's Money, you could play this on a laptop and that would still be fine. And I know because I used to play it on a laptop that I used to own and my videos would turn out just fine and this point is moot. So anyway, that was the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, you can leave a like down below or even subscribe if you want to subscribe because I trip over my words and I'm really bad at saying something sometimes and I should edit those out. But I don't because I'm lame and I'm not really that professional or maybe I am, I'm just kidding. Anyway, thanks for watching. Follow me on Facebook or Twitter, leave suggestions down in the comment section down below, and I will see you guys next time, and follow me on Facebook or Twitter, please, that is, that would be awesome if you did. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, farewell!